Hello and welcome to Engineering Key Tutorials. Uh, in this video, I will solve fluid mechanics problem about uh, parallel pipe flow. Uh, as you can see here, we have a two pipes uh, are parallel to each other, and we have inlet uh, flow rate equals 350 meter cubed per hour which is equal to 0 0.097 meter cubed per second and uh, we have uh, pipe 1 with length equals to 300 meter and diameter equals to 150 millimeter uh, also, we have a pipe 2 with length equals to 550 meters and diameter equals 270 millimeters. Uh, and the required is and uh, Q1 is required. So, guys, uh, before we starting uh, solve this problem, we have to discuss something about parallel pipe system uh, we have two essential uh, assumptions here for uh, any parallel pipe system um, here in the parallel pipe uh, systems we have uh, the total amount of uh, flow rate or dc charge equals to this is charge in the pipe one plus the DC charge in pipe two according to conservation of mass law. The second one or the second assumption here for the uh, also parallel pipe uh, systems uh, the head losses are equal in each pipe in the parallel pipe system so guys uh, the head losses are equals in each pipe that's because uh, if you look at the value of total head losses it will be the difference between um, the pressure uh, or the total pressure in the outlet minus uh, total pressure in inlet and that's because we need one value of pressure in the outlet point it's not allowed to obtain two values at the end uh, at the outlet uh, point so your calculations will depend on one value uh, of pressure at the outlet point it's not allowed to be two values that's the reason why the head losses are equal uh, in each. Uh, here we have the equation one. Uh, Q equals Q1 plus Q2 according to, co to conservation of mass. And also we have uh, head loss one equals head loss two. That's equation two. Uh, According to Darcy equation, uh, we have uh, F1 times L1 V1 squared, which is L1 is length of the pipe 1 and V1 is the velocity of uh, pipe 1 divided by D, D1 2G equals to F2 times L2 times V2. 2 squared divided by d2 times 2g uh, so we have to assume um, f1 equals f2 so uh, uh, the friction coefficient for pi 1 equals the friction coefficient of by 2 so f1 cancel f2 and 2g cancel 2g also uh, also, uh, as you know, Q or uh, the flow rate equals to V times A, which is V the velocity and A the cross section area of the pipe. Uh, also, the A1 equals 
0.017 meter squared a2 equals 2.057 meter squared uh, substitute in the equation one so 0.097 equals to 0.017 v1 plus 0.057 v2 okay here we need to find um, q1 so before to find q1 we have to find v1 v1 times a1 equals q1 so v2 we have to substitute with v2 so v2 squared from the Dorse equation v2 squared equals to l1 d1 l1 d2 divided by l2 d1 times v1 squared so v2 equals 0.99 v1 okay uh, so substitute in the equation equation 1 with the value of v2 we will get the v1 equals to 1.32 meter per second as you know v uh, q1 will be v1 times cross section area of the pipe one so the q1 will be 0 0.02 meter cubed per second uh, i hope it's helpful and see you later in next videos bye